Hey there YouTube, welcome back to Wooden Stuff. Today we're going to learn how to craft the protective case for a base bow using just a 2 inch PVC pipe. This is great for kids that are back in school like mine who need a case on the cheap. So let's get started. So first let's talk about your supply list. You're going to need a piece of 2 inch PVC pipe, two PVC end caps, a hacksaw, a coping saw, a drill with a 3 8 inch bit, a countersink bit, some sandpaper, a measuring tape, a marker, paracord, spray paint and spray polyurethane, and a piece of 2 inch foam board. Step 1. You want to measure the length of your base bow. You want to make sure that the length of pipe you have is long enough and that the diameter is large enough for the size bow that you have. So make sure that you measure the diameter of the pipe versus the width of the bow you have. Next, you're going to go ahead and use a measuring tape, measure out the length of your bow, plus a half inch, and then you're going to cut that pipe to size. Step two, you're going to cut the PVC pipe to the marked length. Grab your hacksaw. If you have a vise, place your pipe in a vise, secure it, and then you're going to go ahead and follow the mark. Take your time, ensure a clean, straight cut so that you don't have much deburring to do after. Step three, you're going to sand down and deburr the edges. You want to do the outside of the pipe as well as the inside of the pipe to ensure that you don't scratch up your bow or your kid or whoever's using this case doesn't get a splinter in the process of putting the bow in and out. Okay, step four, you want to prep your PVC pipe for the carrying straps. So what you want to do is using your marker, you want to mark two dots where the location of the holes are going to go, where you're going to put your straps through. Before you mark it, put the end caps on so that you can mark them just below that and you don't end up making holes that will be covered up by the end caps. Okay, next, using a drill with a 3 8 inch bit, you're going to drill out the four marked holes that you made on your PVC pipe. Remember there should be four in total. When you're done drilling your four holes you're going to change bits to your countersink bit and you're just going to clean up the four holes that you just made. It'll make entering the paracord a lot easier when it's time. Step five we're going to protect the end caps so that your bow doesn't get damaged while it's traveling inside of your case. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some 2 inch pink foam and we're going to make the cutouts. Okay, using one of the end caps you're going to place it on top of the foam and with a rubber mallet you're going to smack it nice and hard into the foam and you'll see that it leaves an indention or an imprint of the uh, size of the end cap. And then what you're going to go ahead and do is take a scroll saw and you're going to cut that out. You're going to cut out a square portion of the foam first because then it makes it easier to handle with the uh, scroll saw. Once you get that piece out then you could set the uh, the larger piece to the side and then go ahead and take your scroll saw and follow along the uh, circle until you have it completely cut out. Okay, once you cut it out, it's a little rough but that really isn't going to make a difference. All we're looking for is the impact cushion. It's two inches. We don't need two inches on the end of that cap. So what we're going to do is just cut it in half with a, I have a, uh, uh, a husky knife here uh, with a uh, replaceable blade that will do the job real nice. Be careful not to cut yourself. Just roll it. There you go. Now we got two pieces and we'll fit in here. it will fit in there just fine. There's some, uh, you know, not perfect on the edges, but that's just enough so that the point of the bow 
has something to hit against or the back of the bow, right? Okay, so now what I'm gonna use is just a little bit of wood glue. Just a little bit. I'm go ahead and dip one end in it. Be very generous. Get it nice and thick. Up in there. And we'll set that to the side and let those dry. Let's move on to the next step. Okay, so what we're going to use to paint this is uh, Rust-Oleum, and it's a primer as well as the paint, and this is a satin finish. Before you spray paint this, you want to make sure that you rub it down with just some, some alcohol and make sure there's no grease or oils or anything like that, debris, anything that's going to keep the paint from adhering. So real quick, we're just going to wipe it down with some, with some alcohol and uh, prep it uh, to paint. We'll do the same thing with the, uh, with the end caps. Set them down, let them dry. Okay, we'll get back to it after it's dried. Okay, so we want to make a quick stand so that we could paint the uh, the pipe in. So all I'm going to do is use this uh, scrap piece of two by four, put a three eighths inch hole in it, and I'm going to put a three eighths inch uh, dowel rod, and then it'll sit nice and straight, and I don't have to touch it uh, until it's dry. I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and place the PVC pipe in our stand that we made here real quick. And there you go. Now we can go ahead and, uh, and start painting. You want to mix this real well. So shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it and don't break it, man. Now, after you uh, you spray it and it's dry, I'm going to put a little bit of this urethane on, a Hellsman spray in clear satin, just to help the paint from coming off. Because it's painted on the plastic, the kids roughing it up, it'll come off. This should help it stick together. So I'll put this in the description as well. And to spray this on, it's just like spraying paint. We'll do the same to the body. Okay, so I cut this paracord and I already singed the end of this one. I'm gonna show you how to do that again so it doesn't fray. So all you're gonna do is take a torch or a lighter, something like that. You can see that this is all frayed up. And all we're gonna do is catch it on fire a little bit. And that's it. All right, now we're ready to use the paracord. Okay, so I already did one of these. We're gonna make knots at the end on either side. So what we're gonna do is take the paracord, run it through the hole that we drilled out. We're just gonna tie a simple knot. Like so. And then you're just gonna pull it tight. And that's it. Okay, now we'll just attach the ends and I'm not gonna glue this on or anything because again, children are gonna take it on and off, right? But there's the top or the bottom. Here's the other end. And there you go. Got a nice bow case for the kids to go back to school with. 
there you have it. Quick, easy, and a cheap bow case for the kids. Thanks for joining me today on Wooden Stuff. If you found this project helpful or have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And remember to subscribe for more exciting woodworking and DIY tutorials. Until next time, keep crafting and keep the music alive.